。联合国发布的报告显示，到二十一世纪七十年代末，全球六十五岁及以上人口的数量预计将达二十二亿。如何应对人口老龄化问题？本届进博会虹桥国际经济论坛举行了“共享银发经济：老龄化社会的新机遇”分论坛。联合国人口基金亚太地区主任皮奥史密斯受邀参加，并接受了总台央视记者的专访。皮奥史密斯表示，他很高兴虹桥国际经济论坛能够特别关注到老龄化的问题。在拥有全球百分之六十人口的亚太地区，每四个人中就有一个是老年人，或将在未来十年内变老，必须要认识和重视这一人口结构的变化。My take is that、uh, we need to put in place policies, strategies, societal approaches that recognize that. A shift in the demographics of、uh, the country, and we want to see solutions that are,、uh, you know, taking advantage of the full range that,、uh, of opportunities that technology brings. But it's also got its challenges. Who is thinking about these things? How do we enable an environment that allows for older persons to thrive and to feel welcome and to feel included? In your Hong Chao Forum speech, you talk about the silver economy. You said it's a fresh chance for our aging society. And could you tell us more about that? With more seniors around, what's the significance of making our economy more friendly and oriented for the aging population? And globally, it's worth around 15 trillion U.S. dollars per year.、Mm -hmm. So that is a massive. Section of the economy, I, I would say, you know, taken advantage of and、mm. fully properly invested in.、Um, so, what we want、uh, to do is to try and ensure that, as businesses, you know, put together solutions that are geared towards elderly population, that they do it in a way that is consistent with the need of that diverse group of elder、um, adults. And we believe that when they do that, they will be able to not only generate. Products that add value to,、um, you know, the life of elder, elder adults,、mm -hmm. but they'll also be able to sustain their own profits.、Mm -hmm. So it'll be worthwhile for a business. And on top of that, then you have a social contribution. 截至二零二三年底，中国六十岁以上老年人口达二点九七亿，占总人口的百分之二十一点一，预计二零五零年将达到近五亿。中国政府积极应对人口老龄化带来的机遇和挑战。推动银发经济发展。今年一月出台了首个支持银发经济发展的专门文件，首次定义银发经济，并作出全面部署。皮奥史密斯高度评价中国政府的一系列政策，表示将给一些国家提供有益借鉴。I'm really pleased, and I commend the government of China、mm -hmm. for some of the very forward-looking policies that they put in place, particularly ge geared towards ensuring that the silver economy, the approach by the public, by the private sector, is holistic, and that it's、um, you know done in a very comprehensive,、mm -hmm. uh, equitable manner. China has been really leading the way in terms of how we address these、um, big. Challenging issues、um, around marrying,、uh, you know, the aging population with sustainable, equitable economic growth.、Mm. I think they're showcasing a real opportunity for other emerging economies to look at the China model and see、mm -hmm. what best do we need.、Mm -hmm. How do we、um, put in place measures that would have us prepared for such policies? That's why UNFPA is so proud to work with、uh, China、mm -hmm. and continue our work around these issues.